bodies are made up of trillions of cells, which come in many different shapes and perform many different functions. But they have one thing in common. They all have what is known as a cytoskeleton, a kind of scaffolding that is constantly changing. It is composed of three different protein structures. Actin filaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. Together they make up the cytoskeleton. The research carried out at PSI focuses mainly on the hollow cylindrical microtubules. These protein complexes are made up of so-called alpha and beta tubulin. Microtubules have the ability to rapidly assemble and disassemble. This allows them to adapt quickly to the constantly changing conditions inside the cell. On top of this, they fulfill several important functions. Apart from stabilizing the cell, they also form a kind of rail network for transporting substances, which are carried to their destinations by so-called motor proteins. Microtubules also play an important role in cell division. The chromosomes in the cell nucleus contain most of its genetic information. The microtubules first arrange the chromosomes along the equatorial plane and then draw them apart. This divides the genetic material in the cell nucleus into two equal halves. Hence microtubules play an extremely important role in the growth and reproduction of organisms. However, microtubules don't just help healthy and essential cells to divide. Cancer cells and pathogens also use them to multiply. And this is exactly where PSI's research comes in. Researchers are using the large research facilities at PSI to study tubulin and find docking sites for new drugs. Drugs that attach themselves to these binding pockets are highly effective. For example, they can block the disassembly of the microtubules, thereby preventing unhealthy cells from dividing. The tasks performed by microtubules are crucial to life. Studying them not only affords new insights into biology, but also helps us to develop more effective treatments and drugs.